right, guys. Uh, I wanted to talk with you um, real quick about um, a couple things that happened over the weekend, and, and it reminded me of our uh, core values. Okay, and it seems that some people were not were not on the same page about what we're doing here, and so I want I want to get very clear about what the what the the core values are here um, to make sure that whether it's me or Michelle or James or Elmer or DeAndre, that those are being carried out with the spirit, okay? Um, so this weekend, um, you know, we did we did a blast and um, to some of our people that, uh, that we have under application status and leads that I've given you guys, my customers that I've given out to people to work. And well, first off, when I got in here, on Saturday, there's a man standing outside the front of the building for half an hour with documents. And he says that he sees Jesus and uh, says, Jesus, it has to go. Uh, there's Angela right there. Go get the documents. This is what the man, I don't, I'm, this is what the man tells me. Okay. So, and he says here he has an appointment with Danny at 12 o'clock. This is what the customer tells him. See, I just come into the office and uh, I can't get, I can't get you on the phone. Um, and here's his documents right here. Okay. Now, I don't know if somehow someone made an appointment with this guy. I don't know. And this had the customers here with documents. Um, and you didn't take the documents from him. It so, okay. No, that's fine. I know. I know. So I'm just telling you how, how this happened. So I've already gotten, I've already had 93 calls by 12 o'clock, 93 calls. Okay. So, um, anyway, I come in here and, um, so that happens and I have to take care of that and put out that fire with that customer and say, no problem here. I'll take care of it. I'll take, I'm going to take responsibility and I'll take care of you, sir. So I got that out of the way. And then I talked to these customers right here that say that they have not talked to anybody in the last three weeks and they're under application status. Um, I'm gonna, I am gonna say their names. Uh, Angelique Price, uh, Stephen Pugh wants to put an offer on a house, has no idea, I can't get anyone to call him back. I handle that one. Uh, Richard Motley talked to DeAndre three weeks ago and Asano, there's no, no further update. Um, and Amelia Hutchinson, same thing. I sent, talked to DeAndre, took my app, pulled my credit, I don't know what's going on. Three weeks, three weeks passes. Nothing in Asano showing anything, okay? So that, and I, you know, it doesn't matter what you say because I'm going to what the customer tells me. I only listen to the customer. All right. So on, on this part, because Asana doesn't show me anything either. All right. So I'm just telling you what the customer is telling me. This weekend, I went to uh, Fertitta's new, uh, uh, his whole thing he built over there in the Galleria. And the man's standing there watching, walking through stuff. This, is a, this man is worth $4 billion. He owns the Houston Rockets. He owns Landry's. And he's sitting there watching what people are doing, the employees, because he's that obsessed with his business. Okay? He can go buy anything. He, he can buy the whole city. But he's watching what the employees are doing. Why? Because he's obsessed with the business. He's not at a barbecue. Okay? He's not playing Nintendo. He's watching the business. All right? So that our core values here is extreme ownership. You have to take extreme ownership if you're going to be working here. This is not this is not extreme ownership. If I'm giving you a customer, I'm giving you an opportunity. Okay? That's your money, man. If you're not closing that deal, that's why you don't have what you want in your life. The car that you have, the clothes that you wear, whatever it is, because you, you're you're thinking about something else. Your focus is on the wrong thing. How do you how do you let someone go for two weeks and not follow up with them? You know, I mean, it, it does. It's not acceptable, man. That's not extreme ownership. Did you guys agree with me on that? You guys agree? That's not that's not that's not how we operate here. That's not acceptable. So I, I can't allow that in my business. It's, and and you know what? Someone told me I was with Angel. That's your fault, man. It's, it's all on the owner and the manager. That's my fault if that happens. That's shame on me because I allowed it. 
That's not acceptable. You know? And it's not. He's 100% correct. Tillman Fertitta wouldn't allow it, and I shouldn't allow it either. You know, you have, you have got to take extreme. That means that if someone's calling, you got to return the call. You worked at Nordstrom. What would happen, Priscilliano, if you gave someone bad service? You're out. Right? You're out, man. I don't care what you're saying. Get out of my face. That's what they tell you. I shop at Nordstrom all the time. That's how they are. Manager's right there watching everything. You want to be rude to the customer, get out. Okay, you don't want to service the customer, you don't want to return their call. It's not allowed here. I don't care, man. You, you need to take care of the client. That's paying our bills. These people are going to go somewhere else if we don't take care of them. And you're not going to, you're not going to save the payoff your mortgage. You're not going to be able to buy your new car. You're not going to be able to do, you're not going to be able to buy a new home because you're not closing those deals. All right. Now, I don't know the, you know, the, obviously, you know, the customer's perception is very, very important because that's really the, you know, one of the main things on how we, how we stay open. No, I don't, I don't agree. The customer is always right. I do not, I do not agree with that, but they need to be handled. So, you know, somebody set an appointment with this guy. I don't know if you did or who did. Somebody made an appointment with him and, you know, in his head, he's like, you know, it was, you know, anyway, uh, I don't, I don't, maybe you did, maybe someone took the call for you or I don't know what happened. Uh, but just the fact that, you know, um, and if, if you would have answered, but just got back to me. So I knew what was going on, you know, so yeah, was at a doctor's appointment. yeah, well, I mean, but could you call me back anytime in the whole day? I could have. Yeah. You see? And so that way I knew what, how to, how to deal with it. So, you know, it's just taking that higher level of responsibility because if you act like an owner, you will become an owner. Okay? I promise you, if you act like an owner, you'll become an owner. That's why people get raises and promotions. And if you act like an um, insubordinate, then you'll be removed. It's that simple. Because I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to deal with it, man, in my business. <clears throat> all right? You wouldn't, you wouldn't, when you guys go out to eat or you go to a hotel or all this, you wouldn't allow that either. It'd be unacceptable to you. I mean, so don't do it here. You know, so that's the first thing is always remember that just like that wall says over there. Okay, extreme ownership. Extre that means that means taking a, a high, high level of responsibility. All right. You just don't get up and walk out and leave. And if you said to your manager says, hey, I need to check out with you, bro. I need to see what do you what did you do over here? Did you call these? I told you to go call these people. Okay, you don't need to go eat right now. You need to go call these people, man. You ain't gonna. You can't have. You, you're not gonna have money to go eat if you don't go take care of these people. You have. If you don't make that connection in your mind, then you're gonna. Be the, what you're focusing on is gonna be the wrong thing, and it's gonna get you in trouble. I'm not saying there's, there's a time. There is a time to have fun, but take care. Take care of your base. I keep talking about it all the time. The next thing is leave no stones unturned. The reason why these people they get called or followed up with because you left stones unturned. Me, leaving no stones unturned means I go through my queue and I make sure that I hit the people I need to hit. If I know I told this man I'm going to get back to him on Wednesday with an update, then I have to get back to that person. And I have to do whatever it takes to do that. Did I check everything I need to check? Did I plan my day? So when I come in the next day, I know I know Dickerson has to close by this day. I have to do these things then to make it happen. That's what that that's what that mindset is leaving no stones unturned. Alright? If you if you leave if you're all over the place, then you're you're not gonna you're not gonna make it, man. And that third thing is you have to take initiative. All right? You know what initiative is? What, you know what, what's initiative? To do something on your own without having yeah. to blame Yeah. Do something on your own, man. Connect the dots. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Make the call to order the appraisal. You know? Uh, don't say that's not my job. You, get, you, have to, you, you have to take that type of initiative. If you see a piece of paper on the ground, pick it up. Because we're all together in this thing. All right? 
And like I always said, the cream rises to the top. The cream always rises to the top, always. You know, and we can we can uh, pass out rewards and bonuses, but remember, it's not on me. It's not because of your boss. Don't look at your boss. Look at you. Stop blaming other people, man. Blame yourself. Okay? You ain't where you want to be because of you. It's not because of your boss or of a Donald Trump or the whoever. It's because it's, it's because of you. I'm not Tilmer Fertitta because of me. There's something I'm doing. Something's blocking me in my mind that I can't see it. Okay? You're not to, you're not to the highest level of yourself because something's blocking you in your own mind. So you have to get out of that, okay, if you want to ascend and go to the next level, you know, and you're going to have to probably make some changes uh, with your habits, because that's what it comes down to, is your habits, you know, and controlling your, your inner thoughts to take you to the direction that you want to go, you know, but don't, don't be a victim uh, of uh, inertia and your subconscious mind. So, that, that's really the, the uh, you know, I, we, can't, we can't operate a business like this, and I can't allow it. You know, I have goals and I have dreams, and, and serving the client and taking care of the people is the crux on what we do. And whether it's good or bad, I'll tell the like, customer today, man, we can't help you, man. You make $800 a month, I can't, I can't do a loan for you. Go call USDA Direct. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that you can't tell people bad news, so sometimes you have to tell people bad news, you know, uh, but there's a good way, there's a way to say it, you know, and so, uh, but basically this is the main thing, I want to make sure you guys are very clear, because I will not allow that in this office, you wouldn't expect it when you go out to eat, and you're going to spend $200 on a dinner, that the waiter's fooling around. You wouldn't allow it. You, you file a complaint with the manager. I know you would because that's how you don't allow it anywhere. If you're going to spend four hundred dollars on a hotel room, and the bathroom's nasty and there's roaches, you're going to file a complaint. It's the same thing here, man. You got to You got to You got to handle the customer, and return the call. Now, I'm not saying that no one in here is belligerent, and it's not like you're not working. I get it, but the same thing is is that. Even though you're busy and you forgot, you still have to write it down. I told you, you have to be organized and make sure that person gets the call. All right? You know, because that's not that's not fair to the client, man. They've been waiting. They want to buy a house. They don't know what's going on. They don't they don't have closure. They don't have clarity. You know? It's not it's not right to the client, man. So you have to you have to make sure that these things, if you're going to continue to work here, that that these core values that they're carried out, regardless, regardless of how you feel. All right, because I can't allow you to work here, and and these things are these things are happening. All right, I don't want to see another call where I get where hey man, I don't know where I'm at. It's two or three weeks gone by. Am I approved or denied? Am I in a credit action plan? I have no idea. I can't. I won't allow it, man. I'll just. I'll come up to you and just shake your hand, say thank you for everything, and we're gonna we're gonna part ways here. You know, I, I can't. I can't handle those type of calls because it, it kills me. Because you don't have no idea the amount of money. I was up till two o'clock in the morning working on marketing stuff last night. The time that's spent to even bring it. You you have no idea what it takes to bring someone in the store. So that's a whole other whole other thing by its own, and then you want to do that to the lead, uh, you know that's it's not acceptable, man. That's my future. You know, it's tied into that. You don't want to call that guy back because you want to go eat a Big Mac, no, man. And then, then it, that's not allowed. Okay, while you're over there watching, uh, you know, a movie Saturday night, that person sitting there, Mr. Motley says, "Where's my house, Angelo?" While you're doing paintball, where's my house, Angelo? You told me, Angelo. So you see, that's not it's not acceptable. So you keep the only reason you can go to a movie is because you close that customer. You guys, does that does that make sense? Does it make sense to you guys? Why? Well, I mean, that's how we pay the bills here. So you know, take care of them, and you'll be rewarded.
you know, take ownership. That's what taking ownership is. Remember, whatever you, whatever you focus on, and that's what you're going to end up possessing and having. You know? So, if you act like an owner, you will become an owner, I promise you. And all, all the stuff that, all the opportunities that come with that, if you act like a, you know, whatever, you're going to become that. So that's that's it, man. Um, that's all I wanted to tell you guys. I, I need you guys. We need to be on the same team, all working together to get these deals funded. All right. You know, I we can make life great or we can make it bad. It's all on us, man. And I want to make it great. I want I want to take our life to the next level. I want everyone to succeed. And that's why I work like I do, and why people here that work very hard. Uh, but it ain't gonna happen. We're not going to get to closing 100 units a month um, if we uh, if we if we if we do this type of stuff. We have the we have the ability to, uh, but it's not going to ever manifest if if we can't take care of this base. Okay, so was everyone with me on it though? Are we on the same page? Okay, all right. Thank you guys. I appreciate. It. I just wanted to have this quick talk.